Hi guys, it's Malene with the Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to talk about five proven tips to sell your home faster in Atlanta. Um, so, number one, get rid of your stuff. Um, I know that can sound a little bit harsh, but whenever people are coming by your house to look at it for showings and all that good stuff, they are actively trying to imagine themselves living in that home. So if you have your garbage, your personal stuff, your life scattered about the home, it's a lot harder for them to picture their life, their stuff, their you know, 30 year old couch that they love so much sitting there. Um, so get rid of your stuff. And one of the things that's really helpful is having a garage sale. A, you get money, B, you get to get rid of the stuff. So double whammy. Um, so number two is great photos. And I'm pretty sure we have stressed this in several different blog posts, several different videos. Take great photos. There's nothing better than having a professional photographer to come in there and take great pictures of your home because when someone is scrolling through Zillow, the houses that they ignore are the ones that either have, or that either A, don't have photos, or B, have really crappy photos that are taken on a Nokia. You get what I'm saying. Take good pictures of your house. Number three, curb appeal. Um, this can go with a lot of different ways. So, one of our suggestions is to obviously take care of all the landscaping things like, you know, make sure the bushes are trimmed, there's no weeds, anything like that. But also some things that you wouldn't think about, uh, maybe replacing the numbers on your mailbox so that, you know, they're not rusty and 45 years old. Um, repainting some little spots on like your uh, shutters, things like that. Just trying to make the outside look as welcoming and appealing as possible. Um, and number four is to price it right. Nothing will deter someone more than seeing your house that looks pretty average to the rest of the houses on the street priced at about, you know, 40, 50, maybe even $60,000 more than the one across the street. Um, they're gonna have a really hard time justifying why that house or why your house is priced that high. And um, it's also gonna be kind of embarrassing when you have to continuously bring it down and bring it down and bring it down again and everyone gets to see it knocked down because that kind of stuff is public record and things like Zillow keep track of that and everyone can see every single time you bring it down a notch. So just price it right to begin with and uh, let people bring it up in a bidding war as opposed to trying to get the outliers that will take it at that high. Um, and number five is to highlight your neighborhood. So the way I think of this is that Every neighborhood is kind of like their own niche. So do you live in a neighborhood that is really active or has a lot of sporting events that go on over there? Talk about that kind of thing. Do you have a neighborhood that has a lot of playgrounds that's super like, uh, I don't know, trails, parks, things like that? Or do you have a neighborhood that's really close to local bars, that's close to um, local food trucks? You know, just what makes your neighborhood special? Because each neighborhood is its own culture. It has its own society, community, all that kind of thing. So talk about why someone would want to live there and why your house is such a great spot. It's kind of like when you're choosing an Airbnb or a hotel. What is it near? What do you want to be near? What do people want to live near? Talk about it. That's going to be a selling point. So again, to recap, you're going to want to, one, get rid of your stuff. Two, take great pictures. Three, have curb appeal. Four, price it right. And five, highlight your neighborhood. So if you want to learn more, you can go to the link below or you can fill out a form and ask us more questions and all that good stuff. And uh, we hope to talk to you soon. Bye.